Hi Scorpio, welcome to your general reading for the first half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. This is a general reading. Um, please check if you're new, check the description back box below for any and all information that you need. It's down below, links, readings, everything. Tons of information is down there. So please, please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, uh, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys, without your support. So I really, really do appreciate that. All of you, thank you so much. Okay, so Scorpio, happy August, Scorpio. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we'll see what kind of energy may be around you, affecting you the first half of August. And um, if you don't resonate with what comes out in this deck, then that's totally fine. The rest of the message may resonate for you. We may get a sign element or planet energy, and we'll see how that intertwines into your reading. All right, for Scorpio, can we have one card? Wow, that was quick. Quick, Scorpio, what do we have here? Aquarius, water and air. So some of you could have an Aquarius in some shape or form around you. A friend, a family member, a coworker. Uh, maybe you have Aquarius in your chart or something to that effect. If you don't know any Aquarius at all, that could be it too. Could be your rising sign, I'm thinking. If it's not your... Um, if you're not dealing with an Aquarius or you don't know any Aquarius, it could be your rising sign, I'm thinking. All right. So, let's see. With this deck here, we will get your main energy, main message, what's going on for some Scorpios the first half of August. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. All the decks are listed below, too, if you're interested in that. And they all have been pre-shuffled, cut, meditated on off-camera save a little time but there is a little more shuffling on camera so please be patient with that all right well that was quick gentleness archangel sandalphon be very gentle with yourself at this time surround yourself with gentle people situations and environments okay so there's a need to, for you to be gentle with yourself and um have calmer environments around you so I don't know, maybe you've just been through something that was a very big struggle or was very detrimental to you, and now maybe you're in a sensitive place, so it's telling you, you know, to take a more calm, uh, peaceful approach with yourself, to be gentle, have patience, and to have more calmness around you in some way. Maybe go on vacation, maybe listen to music, or if you do play music, maybe, you know, get back into that, it may help you... Um, resolve this uh, maybe uh, unwrestled, unrestlessness within you. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for extra guidance. Career transition. Archangel Chamuel, your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So maybe, <coughs> I'm sorry, choking on myself. <coughs> oh. Okay, sorry about that. So, <clears throat> something with your throat chakra, maybe. But anyway, maybe you just um, maybe you just lost a job. Maybe there were some harsh words spoken. Maybe there was a big argument. Maybe that's why my throat chakra just really got all choked up, and maybe it really affected you emotionally um, here. And now it's telling you um, to be gentle with yourself. And maybe it was an Aquarius, an air sign around you that was very harsh and blunt. You know, air signs can be very cold, harsh, and blunt. So, you know, maybe that was the situation. And now you're thinking, maybe I just want to get out of this whole career I've been in and go in a whole new total direction here. Because you see here, enlightenment, like around the crown chakra. So I definitely feel like some of you may be thinking about changing careers altogether. And just taking some time for yourself 
at this time for whatever happened with you and taking some rest relaxation um, going somewhere calm spending time alone all right so what's going on with Scorpio what's going on with Scorpio why are they in this energy of career transition and gentleness let's see What's going on with a Scorpio? What is their energy right now? Why are they needing to be gentle with themselves? What's this career transition? All right. So we have the Two of Cups energy, and that is your energy of uh, water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I think now you're coming into enlightenment here of realizing, you know, this is about unity and people coming together, but this is a general reading. And I'm not taking it as like unity as in a love situation. What I'm gathering here is that you're realizing now and coming to terms with the fact that you've been enlightened and now you realize you need to go in a whole new direction to be better aligned with your um, your, perp your life purpose, your soul purpose, um, and doing what's best for you moving forward and having that strength, ambition, and drive to do that. But right now, just taking some time for yourself some rest, relaxation. All right, so let's see what, what other energy is around you. So we have the Emperor, and we have Temp... Wow. <laughs> so we have Aries, and we have Sagittarius. So that's just the sign, so don't get too caught up with the signs. This is just energy. So you see how domineering this Emperor is? So I'm really feeling here... Yeah, I'm really feeling like you had like a falling out with the career you were in with maybe your boss a supervisor or whatever maybe some harsh words were said look how like mean that guy looks so and then now you're in an energy of calming yourself balancing yourself um, finding peace within yourself healing yourself uh, finding your way finding your light and um, just realizing you know I think I just need to go in a whole new direction here and taking control and charge of your situation also with the Emperor energy. Wow, okay. So, let's see what your actual situation is now. The Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. So, exactly now, air energy here, and here's where the, where the Libra Gemini Aquarius comes in. So the Queen of Swords, like I said, can somebody, can be somebody cold blunt um with what they say what they do and here's the page of swords and there's that energy of like you know cold cutting communication words something I, i'm getting an energy of like an argument a fight uh, like a blow up a shakedown or something with an emperor a boss or something like that and now six of pentacles so we have temperance and the six of pentacles so now i really feel like and you know pentacles is about career monetary material things i feel like now you're really balancing out your energy and realizing it's time to move on it's time to you know heal and balance and move on you know from whatever communication took place here that was very harsh cold and blunt and uh you know, cutting that out of your life and just going in a better balanced place here. And maybe they were giving more to others than you in your environment, something maybe very unfair with your pay, your salary. Maybe they refused to give you a raise. As you see, you know, he's kind of given, giving more to one than the other. And you're like asking, you know, well, how come I haven't gotten a raise? Or, you know, this and that. And they were feeding you like little bread crummy garbage, you know, and there was, you know, I think a blow up and a shakedown. I wouldn't be surprised if we get the tower somewhere in here. And uh, you said, you know what? This isn't fair. This isn't balanced. I'm moving on. I'm leaving. You know, this could be communicating also with the Page of Swords. I'm leaving. I'm done. I've had enough of something here that was not fair. Although Six Pentacles to me is always about balance. But in this case, I'm feeling something very imbalanced here in your career something with your pay your salary not getting a raise not making as much as others and then uh, having a confrontation about that and then deciding to leave and going in a whole new whole new direction in life 
Wow. Okay, so let's see what your advice is, Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So your advice is to <clears throat> Earth Energy again. And now we have fire energy with the knight of wands is to you know again with taking a break and a pause here and having a little patience with yourself and your situation as you move forward and really thinking about where you want to plant your seeds um where you what you want to invest in and you know where you can grow and have prosperity wealth and abundance and you can grow mentally physically um and moving on in your career and then taking that action, that passionate action moving forward with drive, ambition, and courage, and drive. And just moving forward in that direction. Because you see they're kind of going towards each other. So your advice is to really think, you know, take a pause and a break. Think what direction you want to go in, how you want to invest your time and your um, energy forward. Where you want to plant the seeds, what new direction you want to go in. Really think about that. Where do you see growth, prosperity, and abundance? And then you take that passionate action forward with drive, ambition, and courage, and you move on forward. So let's see what your <clears throat> possible outcome may be. The Three of Cups. So I think here, this is rejoicing, celebrating, uh, coming together, um, having a good time. So I think, you know, once you go in that direction, you're on your way, you're going to be much happier, you're going to be um, with more like-minded people, you'll be rejoicing, celebrating, maybe with friends and family, very happy, happy times here. So I see very happy times for you to come in the future. You could be in a more uh, loving, peaceful place in your new career path with like-minded people, and there's no... There's no um, negative energy, there's no arguments, there's no unfairness, there's no negativity at all. It's all happy, joyous, good times, and really uh, loving what you're doing here with those around you. Wow. All right, so let's get more clarity here. Can you see the cards? All right, so let's get more clarity of what your situation is. The Two of Swords, yep. Yeah, so having uh, air energy here, having to make a decision but being blind to it, you know, maybe whatever happened here in your career, you're like, should I go, should I stay, should I wait it out, what should I do, I don't know what to do, being very indecisive and, and uh, not sure. Five of, uh, conflict, there it is, five of wands, I had that feeling, fighting, arguing, some sort of argument, fight, comp competition uh, with others, you know, uh, and that sort of thing in the past environment you are in. That's fire energy. Oh wow, devil, yeah, Capricorn energy. I, exactly, I think where you were before was a very toxic, toxic energy you were in. You felt bound and tied to your job, like overworked, overtired, a lot of negative um, overlooking of things, um, telling people what to do, fighting, yelling arguments, a lot of negative, negative, in with the five of wands, a lot of negative conflict energy in this past situation. The hermit, Virgo energy, yep, so really with the two of swords there, really, really going in, thinking, contemplating, which way do I want to go, should I leave, should I stay, and now you're in that energy, you've made your decision, I feel like, and you've left that, that place, I truly feel that, and now you're really thinking, contemplating, where you want to invest your time, what purpose, what's your life purpose now, what direction you want to go in, a whole new career change. And I feel like what you decide is going to be better suited for you. So you're really trying to find what direction do I want to go in now? What, how am I being called to the light? You know, what direction is that for me? And really thinking about what you want to do here. And let's see what else. So. See what's on the bottom of the deck? Get some bottom of the deck energy, Scorpio. Four of Wands. So there you go, having uh, more stability. Having a happy work environment, more stable work environment. Also, it'll affect your family life. Having a more stable, grounded family life. More peace and harmony in your career transition, in your new work environment, will also bring better peace, harmony, and balance and stability into your home environment. And having more happiness and joy there all the way around. Wow. 
and there you go. I had just said that, the sun, Leo energy of happiness, success, victory, happy home and family life, total enlightenment, knowing what you want to do, going for it, growth, expansion, everything with the sun. Most positive card here, page of cups. So, you know, uh, could be, you know, you could be saying to them where you were, I'm sorry, but uh, I have to go. I'm done and, you know, saying it in a polite way, saying I'm sorry, apologizing, but uh, nope, no more, I'm done. <clears throat> this, is, this isn't for me anymore, you know, the moon. So Cancer Pisces energy. So, you know, feeling a little uh, confused, conflicted about the path moving forward. You're not totally enlightened yet because you have the Virgo and the moon energy. So you're still trying to find your way, your light, your life passion, your purpose, what direction you want to go in here. And now you have the Four of Swords. So again, with that thinking and contemplating, healing over the situation as you take a gentle approach on yourself, retreating, you know, going on vacation maybe even, and really thinking, contemplating, going within on what you want to do here. Thinking it all out. Death, yep. Ending a situation here, definitely here. Scorpio, here's your energy. Ending something here that was just toxic, no longer serving you, no longer fulfilling no growth expansion, very a lot of unfairness here, and just leaving it behind, you know, transforming yourself and going in a whole new direction, having a rebirth, having a um, transformation period. Exactly. Five of Pentacles, feeling left out on the cold, feeling abandoned and neglected, you know, not getting what you deserve, not getting um, the respect, not getting the pay that you deserve, not getting promotions that you deserve, you know, and just done 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 with that energy because now you're going to be moving forward here and once you decide this could be you know maybe going and furthering your education and taking that action of furthering your education and going in a more stable secure place and taking that action forward or there could be a new offer coming into you uh, for a new career opportunity here that will bring you a brand new passionate beginning. You're gonna be so excited, a new endeavor, a whole new direction, you'll see a lot of growth and expansion, enlightenment, uh, offer out of nowhere, and you're gonna be like, wow, I can't believe this, and you're gonna be so excited, passionate, moving forward in this new beginning. Exactly, Eight of Cups, walking away from not, something not serving you, walking to the future, you don't know where you're going, what's gonna happen, because you got the moon energy again is over here, but then here's the offer that you don't know that's going to come in eventually when you walk to your destination because here's the offer wow <laughs> here you're walking away and the office here the offers here you don't see it yet but it's coming in the page of Pentacles now it's coming in yep and making plans and going in that new direction changing your world Wow okay all right Scorpio total career change here leaving all that nasty, negative, conflicting energy behind. You know, you're not sure where you're going, where you're heading, but I see good things coming in for you. More stability, success, happiness, joy, growth, expansion, an offer coming in somewhere from out of the blue that is going to be so exciting for you and happy. Um, you're going to feel so passionate about it. All right, it's going to like light that fire within you again. All right, so let's get one card for Scorpio. One card for Scorpio in this situation. Advice and guidance for Scorpio. What do we have? What do we have? Individuality, 11, which is two. And you came out as the two of cups. So you will find your soul purpose, your life purpose, by something out of the blue coming to you that you're going to feel like it's so suited for you. It's You're going to be able to express yourself, your individuality. You're going to be able to be who you are, express who you are, not be judged, not be treated unfairly. Um, and you see all this orange here, which reminds me of the, um, I think it's the sacral chakra or the base chakra. I don't know. I'm not an expert on the chakras, but I think a lot of stability here. And you'll be able to be who you truly are whatever that may be for you. 
All right, so so we have the also here comet completion, ten endings, the new beginning. So this career you were in may have been just I don't know if there's such thing as karmic careers, but <laughs> it was just a karmic with place where you needed to know uh, learn your lessons to make you grow stronger um, and be able to do what's best for you. Yep, creativity. I definitely feel like here you'll be with all the yellow hair. You're coming into union. You're going to be collaborating, working together, um, teamwork, growing, learning, uh, being creative, and living out your soul purpose. And you're going to find this is your soul purpose when you come uh, into this. On the bottom of the deck, we have moderation, 14. Five is change. One of four or five change. So, <clears throat> again, with the gentleness here, take everything in moderation. Uh, don't move too quickly, too fast, really think about things. Um, but I do say everything turning out exceptionally well for you. But again, you know, take it slow, slow process, patience, and be gentle with yourself right now and moving forward in the future. Everything in moderation. It may have something to do with music. Five, change again. Two fives, five, five, ten, completion one, brand new beginning. May have something to do with music. And spirituality, so maybe you'll be a spiritual artist or something like that. Divinely guided. This offer coming in will be divinely guided to you out of the blue. And you could be, if you sing or play music, uh, you could be... Um, recording music. You could be a uh, faith spiritual recording artist or musician or something like that. Maybe you did it as a hobby on the side and now you have an offer coming into you all in synchronicity, all in divine timing coming to you. Wow. Time out. Exactly taking a time out for yourself right now. Wow. And you, and wow. And I had mentioned music at the beginning. Thank you, Spirit, for making me look there and I had mentioned music in the beginning and here is this uh, angel playing music so you may be getting into music if you sing play an instrument or maybe involved in the recording in industry in some way if not actually singing or playing maybe you know producing or writing music or something like that because you see here so you know maybe you'll sing backup music maybe you know or maybe you'll go on tour and be singing uh, like the three backup singers, you know, because it almost looks like they're holding microphones here. Wow. Scorpio. Let me know if this resonates for anybody. Uh, if it does, please do comment. I love to read the comments. Do like, share, subscribe. Um, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly, general, and love, so don't miss out on that. And uh, good luck to you here. Uh, Best, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, always, always, this is with the bright yellow here, so always, always shine your light.